Hello and welcome to Patched, I'm your host Paul James, and today I'm only joined by Maddo Phil. Maddo underscore Phil, shit. Maddo Phillips. Yes. I tried to do the Twitter handle thing and butchered it. Good. Damo's gone back to the 1900s. Yeah, Damo's moving house. Um, and got no internet. And got no internet in the process. So, who knows how long he's gone. In the meantime, we'll keep the shit show going. So in this episode of Hatched, we're talking about game delays. There's been a lot of them, and you've probably heard a lot of commentary about them because they were a couple of weeks ago. Um, the likes of Final Fantasy VII and Cyberpunk, Iron Man, Avengers, Dying Light, the, the list was kind of fairly long, and I think a lot Pretty of hearts were all broken. the good games. Yeah. yeah all the, the good games. Only the shit ones are left, like Animal Crossing. Sorry, I'm just trying to like aggravate... Animal Crossing fans. Um, Animal Crossing is going to be great. Uh, and yeah, they'll stop watching after this. Yeah, well, no, you said, now, you said no. Animal Crossing, they're like, nah, done. And now that I've insulted Doom, that's all the, the other side gone as well. So no one's watching or listening to this episode. Want to hang shit on all of them now while they're gone? Yeah, who wants to play Doom? I yeah, do. That's, that's all of us. Um, Everyone. So yeah, there's, there's been a, like, a huge number of delays recently on top of some others that we kind of knew about from a few months back with, yeah, Final Fantasy VII, Cyberpunk, Iron Man, Avengers, Dying Light 2, on top of the fact that we knew that The Last of Us Part Two was delayed for a while there, uh, uh, like a week after they announced the release date. Uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps got a little sneaky one back at E3 last year, going from Feb 11 to March 11. Doom itself got a delay, and then you've got all those Ubisoft games. Uh, Watch Dogs Legion got delayed from March Skull into and Skull and Bones and... So basically what we kind of want to look at with this episode is rather than just going, oh no, what was us, the, the games are delayed and that sucks because everyone's done that. Every, like we've we've bitched and moaned and it's not changing anything. And at the end of the day, it's yeah. probably good for the games and the people making them. But we thought we'd take a look at what it does to the next gen consoles a little bit. And you know, the release of them and the games that are coming out with them and around them. Before we do get to that bit though, Matto, were there any of those particular games that we mentioned there that kind of stung a little bit when they got delayed regardless of the fact that it's probably good for the game were there any that kind of broke your heart a little bit I wouldn't say broke my heart because I don't get hyped for game releases as much anymore because I sort of found out if I get too hyped I get disappointed <laughs> for the game but I think the two big ones are Doom and Cyberpunk yep because Cyberpunk was looking good we've heard about it for the last two years they had a date ready everyone was excited then they went yeah, sorry, we delayed it till September. I was like, fair enough. Last time they did that, <laughs> worked out it was pretty well. Year. It was yeah, over a year. And at least so in this not- case, they're delaying it into the same year. It's not like Witcher where it went from fourteen into fifteen, and yeah, it was still game of yeah, the year. Yeah, got but- delayed twice. To yeah. Witcher two or three. Yeah, got delayed from like was it November to February, then from February to May. May. Yeah, that turned out okay. Yeah, and it's yeah one of the best games of the generation. So. Who knows? Go, go um, check out over you about that. And then, of course, and we've mentioned Doom a few times, not to freak anyone out, it didn't get delayed past this March 20 release date, but keep in mind it was delayed to March 20. That was like around PAX time, I think. We'd just played it, and or we're just about like to play September. it, and then they delayed it, yeah. September? No. Was it November? Yeah, maybe October. October, October November. Somewhere around there. Yeah. I think it was PAX time, because I feel like I just played it. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready, and then delayed. Yeah, that is this big thing and there yeah, i was doing my whole doom thing and then we're trying to you and me were trying to figure out oh we need to put two episodes here two episodes there so we can get it before the release right date. on the date right on the date and then they, they killed it they delayed it yeah it, it was a pain in the ass on the content side but who cares we're gonna have some good doom eternal stuff the the p2 doom slayer will return most likely um we better not, you and I better not hog all that time with all their other full play sit through series that we're doing at the moment. But anyway, it's going to be you and me for the entire year. Everyone I mean, else is just getting pushed out. Like, yeah, I mean, get out. Right down to the point we've even kicked oh, Damo off this the, show. Well, I've got this game that I want to play. That, no, you can wait. Yeah, I'll just, I'll let them all bank on the back end and you can, you can fuck off. Go, go play with your own games and yeah, yeah, leave yeah, we'll our YouTube channel alone. We'll, we'll get to it. I'll got, is that game going to get uh, uploaded? No, we'll get, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's okay. It'll be great. Next year, we'll delay it. But there's the new console part to the whole thing, and I think the one that maybe... Because like, Final Fantasy VII got delayed like a month. It's still coming out in April. You've got Ori and Doom and The Last of Us. They're, they're coming out in May. Um, but you, you add those into the fact that, yeah, uh, Dying Light doesn't have a release date now. It was meant to come out early in the year, and they've just been super cagey and said, 
it'll be out when it's out. Um, Avengers is now September. Yeah. Cyberpunk's now September. And because of The Last of Us delay, it meant that Ghost of Tsushima got kind of, even though the game wasn't actually behind and having any problems that we know of, it kind of got delayed so that Sony's big tentpole games weren't getting in each other's way. So now it's coming out late in the year as well. Do you think it's going to cause any headaches for for us, the plebs buying the games or consoles, um, or even PlayStation and Xbox with all these games being pushed back into a window where they're presumably going to launch or, new consoles? It's one of those things, do you wait or do you not? Do you just buy it now on the consoles we got now, or do you wait till the new ones come out? Yeah. And then see if they come out. Which you would probably think they would. Cyberpunk definitely would have to come out on the next gen. Or unless they just go, no, we're leaving it on this gen. I mean, they keep saying they've got no next gen plans, but you I never don't know. I don't totally believe that. Or well, they do like what they did with uh, GTA Five and just release it a year Remaster later. It. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Get first person. Put a first person thing in it, done. Everyone loves it. I mean, yeah. They're, and they're, parents it's... hate it. It's still, yeah. Um, it's, I mean, it's still a weird one with the way they're wording it. Like, they're saying, we've got no next generation release plans. I'm like, you don't have to release it. You've already released it. And with these consoles being backwards compatible, maybe there's just like a PS5 and an Xbox Series X patch that the game can get. Like, you put your PS4 or Xbox One game in and it, it gets... It works. And it gets a... Well, it'll work because it'll be backwards compatible, but maybe it gets like this update if you're playing it on a PS5 or an Xbox Series X that just next genifies it I don't know makes it look better and more yeah. polygons yeah all the good stuff right all the things people care about graphics story that, yeah. don't worry about graphics, ray tracing ooh, ray tracing shadows which is still not a technology that I totally understand I think I'm starting to get a little bit better with it but or well, you just yell the red word ray tracing and everyone goes that's not how you use ray tracing yeah. and teraflops teraflop teraflops Oh, yeah, we're getting it's, very technical with this episode. The thing is, neither of us have a clue what we're talking about. So I, don't gonna... what, I don't even know what the teraflop is. Is it like a memory thing? I th- what is a teraflop? The speed of something. Oh, Please, correct us in the is, comments. I was saying, it's a good thing this is not on Twitch because we be getting just heckled with just comments going, oh, yeah. you don't know what a teraflop is. I'll have to Google it later. Yeah, no, I won't do it now, but oh. yeah, I'm, I'm, t- I'm tempted and... Yeah, I do kind of... Uh, look, I, I say that I want to know what a teraflop is, but I don't really care. I just want my games to work. That's why I play on consoles, not PC. Um, so does it cause... So obviously, yeah, the, the games, like they're butting up to the consoles. To, should Sony and and X or Microsoft be a little bit anxious about... Let's let's use Cyberpunk and Avengers as the examples because they're the, they're the September releases and we have to assume that the consoles are going to come out sometime between September and November. Um, should, holidays, yes. yeah, which fits in that usual holiday or fall sort of window or US fall, north north northern hemisphere fall that they always talk about. Um, should PlayStation Xbox be a little bit anxious about the fact that these games are coming out? Like, do, do, do Cyberpunk or Avengers? And let's let's assume they're not coming to the PS5 in like some remastered or ported version. Like, does that cost sales because people are like, oh, well, well I'm still like. 50 hours into Cyberpunk. I could do this for so another 100. Is it um, Avengers a PlayStation 4 game? Uh, it's it's on both Xbox and PlayStation. Oh, is it? Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was a PS... No, that was just oh, Spider-Man. Iron Man is exclusive. Iron Man's oh, exclusive because right. that's VR. Yeah, that's the whole um, yeah Spider-Man thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very good question. It's really hard to say because they might not. They may just say no. I don't think they'll change their date. I won't change the date, no way. Whatever dates they've got in their head, but I think it's one of those, like, do do they sell less consoles because people are still playing Cyberpunk or Avengers? Let's assume that both games are amazing for the sake of this as well. Well, Which Cyberpunk probably will be, but I know a lot of people are anxious about Avengers, even though I keep telling them I played it and I played that private behind uh, closed doors demo and and both were awesome. And that a lot of other people say the same thing. Yeah. Behind the closed doors, everyone says it's actually good. It's just really bad they just PR pre- yeah they presented it really badly in the first place and it wasn't really the most exciting video going around either when they first showed it so like the tutorial part of it or something just you look yeah. at it and went, yeah it's the tutorial which was one on the pack show floor fun. that was the public demo at packs anyway 
and I think actually when you've got it in your hand, it plays really well. It just doesn't show in video really well. Like this wouldn't be a good. It wouldn't be a good game to. Well, at least based on that slice, anyway, wouldn't be a good game to watch someone play on Twitch or YouTube, for example. Oh, okay, really? Yeah. So it's it's like like what you say like tennis. It's fun to play but boring to watch. Yeah, definitely not like that. Definitely not sort of like that yeah. thing. Yeah, definitely not like golf, which is boring to play and boring to watch. Boring to watch, yeah. It's a lot less work in the gaming golf one, yeah. though. Well, it's there's less walking. Like golf story is awesome, but that's that's a whole other thing. You've Number got a switch one. now. Go play golf story, man. Golf story. Yeah, I might get onto that. It's on the on the eShop. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, will will it cost PlayStation or Xbox a few sales? Do you think? No, I feel like it won't. Because everyone, do people care about games or do they care about the console? That's the thing I always wonder about. Is I mean, it, I'll personally going... get yeah, I'll get Cyberpunk when it comes out, and yeah, I'm the same I'll get my PlayStation cause... and my Xbox. Now, I mean, I'm slightly different because I try and do it day one for for content. Would I would I necessarily buy both if I wasn't trying to do work with them? Well, maybe I'd just get one, but I'll get both because I'm a sucker. Ooh. But I also think yeah. there's the the majority of people. I think if they already had plans to buy a PS5 or an Xbox, then I, you just wait. Yeah, the release maybe. of one game. I I can't see them changing their mind for one game. But if it was like four or five games, then you'd start thinking going. Oh, yeah. Do I buy it? Do I not? And look, there could be more. I mean, that's that's the reality. There, there could be a couple more. Like Ghost of Tsushima is probably going to lob somewhere in that window. And for PlayStation people, that's a big game. Ooh, so that, yeah. that suddenly takes the list up to three when you add Cyberpunk, Ghost of Tsushima, and Avengers into it. But I don't know. I, I think I'm with you that it probably doesn't steal too many, if any, sales from either of them. Um, you only have to look at the internet to kind of see the cra- and like every time the play- official PlayStation account tweets something um Everyone goes crazy people just lose their shit like they, well, they what was the whole, whole the dual shock at the back oh what the is ta- that yeah there's just a little what is that there's new paddles on the back essentially they just give you extra buttons so it's like the elite yeah i think but with, without having to buy a new controller it's like a 50 dollar oh, they're paying 250 bucks for a yeah. controller there you go. See, they'll just go, oh, suck on that Xbox. We've got a paddles that don't cost as much. Yeah. But to be fair, the Xbox, yeah, the, the Elite's like opposable in a million different ways. It is... Adjustable, good, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good, about yeah. as good as a can, game can controller can get, unless PlayStation does one that's better. Because I do prefer... I know some people like their offset sticks for shooters and all that sort of thing. Oh, yeah. It doesn't, uh, doesn't yeah, bother so me. It doesn't bother me too much either, but I can see where they're coming from. Yeah. So not having your thumbs too close together... Yeah, that's the I way mean, I look at it. The thing about the paddles, um, or whatever they're calling them, on the elite and the the for the PS4, they they yeah they give you extra buttons. Like a lot of people complain, like if they're if they're having to use their right stick, like you know to to press, for example, they they can't use the. T- I think a lot of shooter sort of people are talking about how. It, with a traditional control the way it is it limits some of the movements you can do whereas if if you're able to still keep using the stick and maybe map um i don't know say one of the paddles to the x button for example so you can jump over something whilst mid sprint you don't have to take your finger off oh. the the right stick at any point oh, so I see. which so like i can see how that might work because you can customize it to whatever and it's just literally an oled screen in the back there that just says, oh, the right paddle's currently mapped to X and the left paddle's currently mapped to whatever. Maybe it's, like, maybe it's the the, uh, the left stick, like L3, so you can melee someone or whatever the case is if you're in a shooter. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Instead of able to push the, push it push the stick down, yeah. yeah. So th- then again, you can, keep mo- you can keep moving with the left stick and melee someone at the same time. Yeah. Um, so like, like there's, there's cool little things with it and I feel like PlayStation and Xbox will probably just make that part of the controllers this this coming gen but but um i mean will some of the games suffer like will cyberpunk or so go in the opposite direction then will will cyberpunk avengers let's suppose ghost of tsushima will they lose sales because of the ps5 and the xbox one oh sorry xbox series x oh so the other way around Ooh, never really but, thought of it like that and, and, and like, i think in terms of you know i'm trying to imagine the 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 mindset um 
well, the game's going to come to PS5, you know, that's going to get a remastered version anyway, so so I'll just get it then. And And then then I get the best version of it. Or Game Pass, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never thought of Game Pass, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's one of those things, you just, do you, like, get it now or do you wait? It's like, the same with, like, consoles, like, do you buy it now or do you wait until they bring out a second version? Yeah. To fix up all the problems that were on the first version or vice versa. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just one of those things you just, either you're, you're patient or you're not. It's it's one of those two. In my case, I'm totally impatient. I'll get both, you're like everything pay. everything yeah. when they come out. But like, I mean, something like Cyberpunk, and this is, you know, my attitude on the whole thing, and, you know, not representative of everyone, but like, I'm going to be playing Cyberpunk from, let, let's, let's assume for the sake of this that um, PS4, xbox series x come out i don't know early to even mid-october which is not an unreasonable window to month imagine before month yeah. before or month after cyberpunk will get yeah. released like yeah. i'll st- with the you know fatherly commitments and work and all that sort of shit like and you know other games i'm reviewing and whatnot i'll still be playing cyberpunk unless unless by some chance and this requires matt to send me the code and and bandai namco locally because they're the ones handling it out here to get us a review copy like a month in advance there's a lot of ifs there if all of those things happen then maybe i'm done by the time the ps5 and the xbox series x come out but most likely i won't be so i may as well like as far as i'm concerned i'm like i'll play it i'll play it on my ps4 i'll be very happy to do so and then when my ps5 comes out whether there's a ps5 patch or not it won't matter because i'll just drop i'll drag the game across and if there's a ps5 patch great it looks better i'm not going to play it on pc so um so I mean, which is where it would look obviously it's best. So it's going to get a little upgrade, great. But I've been enjoying this game for a month and a bit now, and I'll just continue to do so. But it looks even better. Like I get wild all over again. Yeah. So why not? Well, even if they just say like they like I said with GTA, just release it a year later or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. GTA and The Last of Us, I think, were the the big two. But we saw other yeah, games do as well. Yeah. But then everyone else started doing it, and people just brought them. Yeah, now everything gets remastered, made, even yeah, shit like, games. Except games. Mass Effect, they won't ma- remaster Mass oh, Effect. Those it was, fools. Uh, two words: EA. Well, they've changed their mind about them. Um, so what? What did Star? Did Star Wars finally change their go? Oh wait, a game with an actual story, no microtransactions. This could work. Oh, maybe we can make money in other ways that aren't arsehole-ish. And people will love us instead of yelling at us for saying, you idiots, for our surprise mechanics. I mean, that's, that's you know, going off topic, but um, that's one thing I kind of hope that EA learns from this whole thing is that, you know, like they, they expected Jedi Fallen Order to sell between 6 and 8 million copies by the end of March, I think it is, by the end of their Probably financial or fiscal it, year. It? And it's already hit 8 million and there's still a couple months to go. So maybe they should be going, huh, we did the right thing. And so, well, like the, the thing that the players want us to do. So maybe we should keep doing it because when we did that last, everyone bought our game. We'll do a remastered version of Mass Effect. Yeah, and wouldn't but everyone buy, can, buy wait, the shit out of that? Because it was only it was an Xbox only game when it no, came out. You got the anymore? like you got the trilogy on PS3. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. You just, yeah. So the first one was exclusive for a long time. Then yeah, Mass yeah, Effect Two in. came out in 2010. Yeah. Then yeah. it came to then it came to the PS3 a year later. Then by the time Mass Effect Three came out, both games came out on the Xbox and the PS3 mm-hmm. at the same time. And then maybe a year after that, they're like, okay, now he, when the trilogy came out for the Xbox, it also came to PS3, and that's when I guess and at no that point, DLC. yeah, well, yeah, the, that was Dodgy. weird. The DLC was. Well, no, like some, like the Xbox version had certain DLC, the PS3 had certain DLC. Like it wasn't the same what? for both. It was really weird. Okay, I know on Xbox 360 for Mass Effect 2, you got the one of the extra characters for free. Yeah, I don't know why, and some mission. That Everything was real sense. weird about it. I don't know. That that was vintage EA. We'll was give that, you something. Was that their way of trying to make people buy both? Maybe. One. I don't know. Didn't we'll give work. you this, but then we'll take this away. So fuck but you. you have to get it, but, so you, but you have to get it on the other consoles. Like you know, like Pokemon Red and Blue, where you have to trade Ooh. certain Pokemon. Every Pokemon ever. Yeah, 
You had to trade. Oh, this Pokemon's only in this game. Oh, do you want to trade? Sure, why not? That's what it feels like, but you can't trade it because there's no cross-platform stuff. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a, that's a whole other thing. Maybe we'll we'll, we'll get Damon on board to talk about um, Pokemon craziness at some point. Oh no, we did that in the patched updates. That's all right. We're all good did in that we? regard. Yeah, I got him oh, to rant yeah. about the DLC. Oh yeah, and, he, and did he rant? Um, which of those games? And again, we got Cyberpunk, Final Fantasy VII, Iron Man, Avengers, Dying Light Two. I won't mention the others because they're cut. Well, uh, Last of Us. Doom. Like, what? What are those ones? Are you planning on getting at this point, regardless of when they come out? Oh, Cyberpunk and Doom. Yeah, right. yeah, my two. Like Final Fantasy Seven. Not really, because I wasn't Boom a PlayStation him. kid Boom growing him. up. I was, a, I was a Nintendo kid growing up. So I did I play a little that. bit. I did play a little bit of Seven, but that was a long time ago. Uh, maybe Last of Us Two. Maybe I should go back and play. Remastered. The Last of Us. No, not the remastered. Oh, you probably got, you probably on. would. Was it a free on plus recently? Yeah, I didn't get it. Oh, you didn't get it. But I got the one on PS3. That will do me. I don't care about enhanced graphics. Yeah. I was it's just it. easy. It's just easy. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, what was the other one? I think that was it. Uh, yeah. Doom, Cyberpunk, and then yeah, yeah. Uh, you said no to Final Fantasy, or maybe no, no to Final Fantasy, and then there's Iron Man, Avengers. Well, you don't have a PlayStation VR, oh, yeah, so you can't do so Iron Man. I can't do that. Avengers, does that speak to you at all? No, just because of the video. Oh, yeah, right. That was really it. But like so they'll, said, they'll, they'll need to wow you with something else. Oh, if they have a demo up or something, I'll download that and play it. If I get it excited by that, I might change my mind. Fair enough. You never know. You're going to pick up PAX one. You're going to pick up Ori on the Xbox? Of course. Good. I'll have it. I'll That's have it uh, on release. I'm an, and this this is just continuing my shitty reputation when it comes to collector's editions, but I'm getting that game on Game Pass because of course, yeah. But it had a really cool collector's edition, so yes, I pre-ordered oh, really? it. Oh, wow. Like it's not it's not a big fancy one, but it's just stunning. It looks gorgeous. Go check it out on the EB website after we're done here, and that applies to you, the listener as well, or listener and viewer as well. Go check it out on if, the EB if website. If you're still listed after if you're still we told listening. you. Yeah, that not uh, that if if you play uh, Animal Crossing, you're a dork, and if you play Doom, you're also a dork, which means no one's left. I was gonna say, uh, did you pre-order Doom with the helmet? Yes. Who's a dork now? Well, you just get it for the. Well, helmet. it'll be me when the helmet's on. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you just gotta get the helmet and then just throw the game away. Hope, hopefully, like it. I don't know if like if if it works like a visor, maybe I can do like a player two plays where I've got the helmet on the whole time. And, just it's like, like, and it's like a 30 degree day and I'm just dying inside. <laughs> well, maybe it's like a, was it like one way <clears throat> glass or whatever so you can actually see out of it but you can't see in. Yeah, that could work. And yeah, no, while I've got the be... mask on and I'm trying to speak, I end up sounding like Bane. Urgh, welcome Bane to a play two plays. Or Kylo Red. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too. Good times. We're, like, going way, we're going those, way off topic. Also, all those people that are like the smoky thing when they put it on their neck... Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think it'll go that far, though. Yeah, I might get myself in trouble for that. I won't do that. I won't do that. Well, no one will hear it all, just muffle. On that highly inappropriate Ooh. note that's disrespectful to anyone that's ever smoked Smoke. far too much and probably deserves it for, for being oh, not no. looking at... No, I'm kidding. But hasn't looked after themselves nearly enough. Um, that concludes this episode of Player Two Plays. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All those things are down the bottom here. Hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted to every new video the moment it goes live. That includes more of Patched. If you've decided to watch after I've picked on Smokers, um, Doom Players, oh, and Animal Crossing Players. Um, but- well, yeah, actually no one will ever hear it because I insulted them too early. <laughs> Um, with Doom and Animal Crossing. But anyway, if you've stuck it out, there's more episodes. Um, visit the website, player2.net.au, where you find reviews and previews, opinion pieces, news, features, patched, which is in audio form. That There's a link to that, the podcast uh, the podcast version, the Player 2 Pixelcast, which is back, and Dev Diary. We've got some awesome guests there, so go check that out. Um, also on Patreon, patreon.com slash player2au. Kick in a few bucks, lower tiers, you get early access to episodes, higher tiers, monthly episode exclusives, and then there's Twitter, I've already announced yours once this episode, but go again, Matto. Matto underscore Phil. Paul James Games for me. The website's player2au. And until next time, start saving your money because you're going to be buying some consoles at the end of the year. Life savings.
Yeah, yeah. Put it all away. You don't. Little Timmy doesn't need that money. Just no one else buy does. yourself a PlayStation or an Xbox. If you got kids, that don't get me any presents. No. Go without this year. Santa forgot you. Santa, Santa, um, you've been bad. Naughty. That's the word. Bag of coal. Yeah, that's, that's what. what you get. See you later. <laughs>